Hello everyone, I'm Brian and today I'm doing a trailer reaction to Lagan, Once Upon a Time in India. Ooh. This was a request, I do request, if you have a request, please leave it in the comments below. Please make sure to leave a link to it and uh, make sure it's dubbed or subbed so that I can follow along. Um, so Once Upon a Time in India, that reminds me of uh, another movie called um, Once Upon a Time in China. Um, it was a action kind of comedy? So... I have already positive vibes on this movie because of the Once Upon a Time in India. So, um, well, the request was for La 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 Lagan, or is it Lagan? But anyways, I don't know what this is about, so let's get started. It's in 1080p right now, so <laughs> it looks like uh, the 90s. You have agreed to cancel the tax of the farmers in Champanair if they beat you in a game of cricket. Yes, sir. We also understand that if you lose, you will cancel their taxes for the next three years. Not just Champanair, but the entire province. If they lose, which they will, they will have to pay the Queen three times the tax. A young farmer with the help of a stranger. I want you to tell them that I would like to help them learn the game. Yes, Bim. Must convince an entire village to risk everything. <laughs> and believe that any dream worth having. Next time, I will shoot you. Is a dream worth huh. fighting for. Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment proudly presents one of the most remarkable productions in India's cinema history. An epic musical. That's so weird to just switch up from that. It goes from a very serious thing, you know? Dance performances. To like... And visuals that it's not as bad, I'll say sore. that. Director Ashidash Gowarikar, starring acclaimed actor and producer Amir Khan, in a motion picture that BBC Online calls an Indian modern classic and a must see. Winner, the Locarno International Film Festival. Don't really have the, too much to say about it. Um, although I will say, um, let's go over the trailer anyway, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain more. There wasn't really much, too much I could really say during it. Um, so we see again, there is it's about the British Empire um, and their colonial expansion. And so this guy decided to make a bet with the people to say. They will cancel the taxes of a not only just to a specific region, but also to, I guess, all of what they control for three years if they lose, if the British loses, and if um, if the British wins, then they'll pay three folds to the Queen. But to so cancel their tax for the next three years, but an entire province, if, if they lose, they will. Have to pay the queen three times the tax. So three times the tax is that for three years as well, or is that just indefinite? Which is it's not a very good, um, you know, bet. You know, you get a break for three years, but I guess that's that's nice. But if you lose, you lose a lot. Whereas you win, you win by comparison to triple taxes for the rest of your life is not much of a win. I mean, you get the you get a break for 3 years, but if you lose, that's 3 times the tax for the rest of your I guess the rest of however long they rule it. Where I suppose where you get a break for 3 years and then you go back to paying the taxes on the 4th year. So it's still a relief, I will say. And I guess this is how I don't know if this is based on a true story or not. I hope it is. Cuz it would be interesting to see uh, I guess I'm guessing this is what may have started cricket in India. And also, I don't know much about cricket, and 
And if I watch this movie, I hope to learn how to play cricket. Not because I would play, just it's nice to know how it's played. It was quite confusing because I did watch this uh, this other movie where uh, this American goes over to in uh, England and um, because he was part of the family line for some odd reason and he plays cricket, but he plays it like baseball. So he freaking hits the ball like a really, really hard and hits a home run, <laughs> which I don't know if that's valid or not in cricket um so it's really it was pretty nice that the lady wanted to help them out and then i was curious what the heck happened here and believe that any dream worth having so the dude shot someone i was wondering who did he shoot i guess this guy that pushed him I thought he pushed a guy, but he did not. So this this first half of the the trailer, I was like, it was like, oh man, this is very serious. You know, I, I hope this is based on true events, because I, I know the British did rule and they taxed their colonies, and you know, you're looking at a village or at least an entire province or just an entire country maybe depending on how much the British ruled that you know they're being taxed quite heavily I'm sure and they're barely surviving so this is quite a serious matter but all of a sudden you cut into freaking dancing and which musical. <laughs> I mean like that I mean that's that that kind of movement where he goes from he's not looking at the camera and, and flips his face over like that in, in America, that's kind of like a, a comedy thing, but I don't know. I, I found that kind of funny, but I'm sure it's just American culture, I suppose. It's not to say that uh, it's great, though, I'll say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying other than the sheer fact that it just kind of threw me off a little bit. But in America, there are musical movies or... Uh, what do you call those movies? Musical movies, I suppose, where they have music and dance off in the uh, in the movie itself. They're not very popular per se. They're they're popular among certain groups of people, but they're not like mainstream, I suppose. Although I'll say I'll, the Indian ones are pretty. Actually, most musicals are pretty good. I will say I've watched a few, and I do like them. And I love the way Indians do it be, uh, because they're very colorful and they're very extravagant about it, which is really cool. So I think throughout this entire second half was a lot of musical to it. And then we see some, oh my gosh, look at that, look at that beard, man. Look at that beard. I, I missed that the first time I watched. <laughs> that beard though. Let's see, was there anything else that kind of, I wanted me to uh, that I wanted to point out. So I know in cricket there's like three sticks I think, and the point of the the pitcher I'm just calling him the pitcher because that's what I, I know it as. It's supposed to knock one of them off, and then the the guy that has the bat is supposed to protect it I believe, but I could be completely wrong. Okay, so Lagan. Or what did, how do they pronounce it actually? Lagan? Lagan. Lagan. <laughs> he really stretched out the on ah, part of that. Alright, so uh it actually looks pretty good. If it's based on a true story that encourages me to watch it a lot more. It is at least dubbed, so I don't have to read. Um, but I hope it's dubbed correctly. Uh the reason why again I like dubbed over subs is because some there's sometimes there's some mistranslations and subs even if you get a really good ones if they translate it literally or if even if they translate it correctly uh the words could kind of go over my head because it could there could be some cultural things that i don't quite understand but if they translate it along with the cultural translation to the equivalent of whatever culture that i'm in or whoever's in it, it would translate a lot better but uh but yeah it's, it seems like it's dubbed. Um, it will make it a lot easier to watch for sure, so I can I can pay attention to what's going on in the background and also follow along with my ears. Um, it looks interesting. I'm, again, I keep saying this. I hope it's based on a true story because that would be pretty interesting to see how cricket started in India. Uh, we did watch a few cricket trailers. 
which seems to be quite a popular sports over there, along with wrestling as well. And uh, it'd be also hopefully to teach how cricket is done, because I don't know how that's done. And it'd be a, another uh, incentive to watch the movie, because I could learn how cricket started, how these people overcome the tyranny of uh, the British Empire at that time, and also learn how cricket is done. Yes, did I say that twice already? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so if this was coming out in theaters over here, um, I don't necessarily know if I'd watch this um, in the theaters. It's not necessarily my type of movie, especially something that's historical. I definitely prefer to watch that. whenever. Again, when I go in theaters, I prefer to enjoy myself, not have to think about things. Just go there, relax, and enjoy the, uh, the spectacle. So if this was coming out in theaters over here, I'd probably give it a 2. Uh, there is a chance of me watching at theaters, but I have to be in the mood and I have to be with the right people. Now, home theater, uh, I give this about a three. I'd probably prop this up to a four if it was based on a true story. I just don't know. I wish they would say it was based on a true story or or if it's in fact 100% a true story. Because sometimes things could be based on a true story and they take liberties in it. And then there are things that are based on a true story that they take very little liberties in it but regardless three but if it's based on a true story more than likely 3.5 to a four because that makes it more interesting in my opinion what about you guys what would you rate this would you give this a five a must watch a four a will watch a three a may watch a two a man I watch or a one won't watch let me know in the comments below and explain your reasoning why if you like my content please consider subscribing thumbs up thumbs down down below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next vid